It's 832. We have a news alert for you now out of St. Pete. Police still on the scene of a crash where a car hit an apartment building early this morning, leaving several people injured. 10 Tampa Bay, Shannon Clo is there live now with more details. Shannon, what can you tell us about what happened? Well, Jenny, I can tell you we have police out here right now. There are a handful of St. Pete police cars out here. They're investigating right now. So what we were told this morning by investigators is a car was driving on the wrong side of the road. So police naturally went to pull that car over. That car refused to pull over and then crashed into an apartment complex. And we can actually show you the scene out here. It's all going on right as we speak. So behind this crime scene tape, if we zoom in over there, you will see the car at the center of this investigation. So St. St. Pete police telling us at 430 this morning that car driving on the wrong side of the road when they went to pull it over. It ended up refusing to pull over, crashing right into that apartment complex over there, which is Wildwood Apartments. And we are told that they actually hit a natural gas line. So some people in the apartments were evacuated this morning just as a precaution to make sure everything was OK. The structural integrity of the building was OK. Unfortunately, one person inside that apartment complex complex was injured and on top of that the driver and the passenger of the car also injured the passenger we're told was trauma alerted meaning their injuries are more serious so all three of them are in the hospital this morning and I can tell you St. Pete police telling us that the driver of the car that refused to pull over ended up crashing they will be facing numerous charges one including fleeing police but this is a breaking news scene right now so once we learn any more new information from police we will We'll be sure to update you right on our website. That's 10tampabay.com. I'm live in St. Pete, Shannon Clow, 10 Tampa Bay.